Hey, you! Yeah, you! Do you have a unique music taste? Do you have a Eurovision Top 39 and have been personally attacked because toxic fans can't appreciate that everyone has a different opinion and taste? Are you a Eurovision fan who is feeling deflated because of all this and just want to spread some positivity? And are you worried about being belittled by liking specific songs even though music is subjective and has no right or wrong answer? Well, if the answer to all of the above is yes, then boy do I have the solution for you! Are you ready to find out more? Well, you need a perfect top! A quick solution based on all of the comments you have been receiving on your top 39 video to fit in with the vast majority and get nothing but likes and validation from complete strangers! Wanna find out more? Well, here goes! Now, it is imperative that you include Grease in your top. It is on trend with its 80s flavors and aesthetics, and it's a bop. It gives you the fun factor. Now, Italy is a must. It is a part of the Big Five, and it is another genre of music. It really shows that you have a broad horizon. Now, can I get a Ukraine? You must include this track, as it is very unique with its white voice, and it is a groundbreaking song. Now, it is absolutely vital that you include Denmark. You need a guilty pleasure factor. And they're comedians. It shows you have a great sense of humor. Regardless on what you thought of the 2020 competition, you must include fan favorite from last year, Iceland, because everybody loves them. Now, Tix is an amazing personality, and you must support an amazing personality, regardless on what you feel about his song, he is amazing. Now, putting France in your top 10 really shows your diverse range in music taste. You like the old classic sound with an avant-garde feel. It shows you have depth. Ethnic bops are everything, and Sen Hit has supplied the ethnic bop. It's in everybody's top 10, and you must support the fan favorite. Do it. Supporting Romania this year really shows that you can read between the lines and look deeper than the surface lyrics. It's very current and is emotional. Do it now. Bulgaria must be in your top. It's very Billie Eilish, very on trend, very ASMR, and it's a tearjerker. You must support a tearjerker. And last but by no means least is Switzerland. It's emotional, it is hipster, it is current and fresh. A favorite 2020 and 2021. Euphoric music and a talented singer and personality. Remember, Jimmy, never reveal your favorite songs to anybody. You must take it to your grave. Only reveal this top 10 and you will fit in perfectly. Everybody knows that the whole purpose of Eurovision is to like the same songs as everybody else. We must not have our own individual taste. Now you're ready to go off into the world, Jimmy, with your perfect tan. Are you ready to be flavor of the month? You are gonna rock it. Take care now. Hi guys, Luke here, not Jimmy. I hope you enjoyed that very different video, the perfect top 10. Now this is just a little disclaimer to let you know that I do not hate any of these songs that have been mentioned in this video. This is all purely based on the negative feedback in the comments that I received on my original top 39 video. I scrolled through most of the comments, definitely looked at those hate comments, thank you for that engagement factor. You are babes and looked out for the most popular songs that were in the majority of people's top 10s, especially the more negative opinions. But a closing statement from this video from me would be, you do you. Please just enjoy all of the songs that you love. Now the main factor what makes Eurovision so special is that everybody has their own personal tastes. That's why the competition is so wide open, there are so many good songs. My personal number one is Finland. However, if I was to watch a top 10 video and somebody put Finland at 39, do you think I'm going to leave a negative comment? No, I'm going to appreciate your opinion because everybody's different and that's what makes us the same. Music is art and subjective and there are no right and wrong answers. And the principle applies with cake. I love cake, I don't discriminate. However, not too fond of lemon drizzle because that's my personal taste. But I better watch my back for all of you lemon drizzle fans that are coming to get me. But to all of the people that have been so supportive and have left such positive comments regarding my top 39, and have appreciated my opinions just as I have appreciated yours, you're my kind of people.
Yeah, our tops are not exactly the same. They're quite different actually. But you have been so kind and so respectful and you have made me appreciate the fandom for what it is. And to the people that can't appreciate other people's opinions, I don't think you should be looking for top 39s or reaction videos. Maybe you should go and watch the Teletubbies or something. I don't know. Disagreement is absolutely fine and I love me a little bit of a debate, but just don't be rude about it. And do not attack other people in the comment section. Not cool, bro. So thanks for tuning in yet again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.